Welcome to Online SCM Training at UK Healthcare. This video will introduce you to the look and feel of Sunrise Clinical Manager. You will learn how to search for a patient's records and explore the information on a visit chart. This video is meant to be general, therefore, depending on your role, you may not have access to everything covered here. Sunrise Clinical Manager, or SCM, is the electronic health record used at UK Healthcare for acute care and emergency department visits, as well as transplant and oncology ambulatory patients. All other ambulatory and off-site clinic visits are charted in a different system. The Allscripts Electronic Health Record, AEHR, also called TouchWorks. The desktop icon for SCM looks like a chart on a clipboard against a sunny background. To log on, enter your LinkBlue username and password. Single sign-on functionality is being rolled out in many areas. There you simply swipe your ID badge to log in. However, you may be required to enter your credentials for the first login of the day. The first time you log in, and when you log in after a downtime, your screen may be blank. If this is the case, open the sidebar and select the appropriate application. Sunrise Clinical Manager is an Allscripts program which encompasses several applications. The applications assigned to you depend upon your department and role. The ambulatory application within Sunrise is used exclusively with oncology and transplant ambulatory patients, while the ED uses emergency. Inpatient visits are charted in acute care. The Windows minimize and resize controls work as expected. However, never click the red X. This will not log you off. It simply severs the connection between SCM and your PC, which may cause data loss on your patient and slow system responsiveness. To properly log off and exit Sunrise, use the power symbol located in the Gateway Toolbar. The crescent moon allows you to suspend your session and resume later. This helps maintain confidentiality or let other users log on using the same computer. The eyeglasses icon allows you to view and select from a list of your recently viewed charts and the question mark opens an active help application. You will not use the wrench. The breadcrumb trail displays the current application and tab. The menu bar offers functionality and customization features within Sunrise. Many users find it helpful to see the names of the icons displayed. This can be done by clicking on the Preferences menu and selecting Toolbar. The text labels can be shown by using the drop-downs for both the main and tab toolbars. The main toolbar icons are typically used for entering data onto a patient's chart. The icons displayed vary according to your role. Most icons remain inactive and grayed out until a patient has been selected. Summary information regarding the patient in context is displayed in the patient header, while the tabs display chart information in an organized manner. Different tabs are available depending upon your role. The tab toolbar icons provide access to specific features and will vary from tab to tab, while chart information is displayed in the area below. Many departments use status boards to display current information and tasks relating to the patients in specific locations. When logging into SCM in a clinical area, the status board for that area is displayed. Access status boards for different areas through the department drop-down. Each unit may customize what information the status board displays and can have various other boards accessed through the View drop-down. Isolation and code status are clearly indicated on status boards. Select a patient by single clicking on a row. That puts the patient in context and displays a summary view of key patient information in the patient header. Here you will see the patient's location, MRN with visit ID, age and birthday, sex, and current weight. Also, isolation protocol, code status, and if the patient has fallen recently. Pediatric and pregnancy status are displayed in green. The attending and team are listing as well. While most of the information is for a particular visit, some, such as difficult airway, research participant, header one comments, and allergies carry across visits. Note that intolerances are not displayed. Peruse the tabs for a comprehensive view of the patient's condition. 
Providers have a drop-down below the first tab that allows switching views between status boards, patient lists, and the inbox. The inbox is used in some areas for messaging and information regarding alerts, documents, prescriptions, and results. Now let's look at patient lists. Patient lists provide easy access to specific patient charts and notify you about new information regarding those patients. Flags are generated when new information is added to a chart. Triangular green flags indicate routine orders, new documents, or normal test results. Rectangular red flags indicate alerts, stat orders have been entered, or abnormal test results have been posted. Swallowtail yellow flags appear when an image or note is attached to a lab result. New flags appear on patient lists only if Flag New is turned on. You can double click in a patient's Flag New column or select all the patients and turn the flags on for the entire list at once with the Flag New On icon. Double clicking on a flag reveals what triggered it and double clicking on an item will show more details such as special instructions and attending physician. After viewing the information, close the box. Use the red X or click Don't Clear Flag. Only nurses are authorized to clear flags. The name of the current list is displayed. Click the drop-down to view all of your lists. Depending upon your service, you may have one or more lists by default. You can build three types of patient lists yourself. Criteria-based, personal, and temporary. Begin building a criteria-based list by clicking on the New Visit List icon. You specify what everyone on criteria-based lists have in common. These lists are kept current by the system based on the patient's status and orders. You will not be able to add or remove patients from these lists. You may combine selections from multiple tabs for your lists. One useful list is by location. Select the Include Patients at Selected Locations Only option. Clicking plus signs expand the tree and allow you to drill down the list to the desired location. Pavilion A is also known as the Patient Care Facility or PCF. Select the desired unit and click Add. You may have multiple locations on the same list. Click OK. Give your list a name. You can name your list anything you want. However, please keep it professional in case someone is looking over your shoulder. And click OK again. The number of patients currently on the list is displayed. Remember, Sunrise dynamically updates criteria-based lists. You may want a list containing the patients under the care of one or more teams. Again, click on the New Visit List icon. Do not use the Service tab. Select the Advanced tab. Check the Advanced Definitions box to begin. There are several advanced list options to help you build complex lists. Click the drop-down arrow to see the choices and select Patient Team. Type the first letter in the window and use the scroll bar. Select the team. Hold down the Control key to select others. Set the team type to All and click OK. Name your list and click OK. You may wish to create a list showing only specific patients. This is a personal list. There are two ways to create personal lists. One way is to select patients from an existing list. Single click on the desired patient. To select multiple patients, hold down the control key and click on other rows. Then click the Save Selected Patients button. Type the name of your list in the New List Name area and click OK. Notice an asterisk has been added to the name. All personal lists are so indicated. A second way to begin is with the Find Visit icon. You may search by name or medical record number, which requires a nine-digit number. You may need to include leading zeros. Click Search. Find Visit searches return only the current visit. If the patient is not registered, no visit will be shown. Confirm it is the correct patient, then select the patient and click Save Selected Visits. If you double-click on the row or click OK, the patient will be placed on a temporary list. Add them to an available list or create a new list 
and click OK. It may be helpful to view a patient's chart from a previous visit. To see all of a patient's visits, click on the Find Patient icon and search. And select the patient the same way. Click Show Visits. The status ADM indicates the chart for the current visit, while the status DSC indicates a previous discharged visit. Select the desired visit and click OK. A temporary list is automatically generated. Temporary lists disappear when you log out. Let's explore a few important tabs. Note that the tabs may be in different order when you log in. All orders are displayed in the Orders tab. Orders are grouped by department by default, although this can be changed in the Options panel. You can see the name of the order, the performance date, which is listed in the Order Date column, and its status. With the icon grid, you can tell certain things about the item, such as priority, repeating, PRN, etc. Mouse over the grid for more information. Double-clicking on an order will show the worksheet. Look here for details, special instructions, and information about the supervising attending, etc. No changes can be made to an order after it has been submitted. Click Close when done. Filters are used to customize which orders are displayed. Your default filter should be Active and Hold. To see all the orders, set all categories to No Whatever Filter. Orders that have been discontinued, canceled, completed, or resulted will display in italics. Comprehensive results for labs and other tests are housed in the Results tab. Four different display views are available from the icon or in the Options panel. Report by Order lists the orders chronologically. The date and time of the tests are displayed in gray bars with the results listed below. Red arrows draw your attention to abnormal values with the normal ranges shown in brackets. Clicking on a plus sign will open a text-based note for viewing. The summary view shows a calendar grid with flags. Green triangular flags indicate all results were normal. Red rectangular flags mean something is abnormal, while yellow swallowtail flags mean either no normal range has been assigned or there is non-numeric information such as a PAX image to view. To view results for a particular date, double-click on the flag. This icon indicates there is an image available to view. In the summary view, clear grid highlighting by clicking in the gray header. The trend view shows everything tested with values displayed in a calendar grid. While trend and graph plots an easy to interpret picture of the progression. The trending results tab allows you to filter the results. You can also sort the data by clicking on a column header and then select instances of an item. Check the box to calculate the Smart Trend. Smart Trend displays the selected results chronologically listing the dates. ECGs, PAX images, and rhythm strips can all be viewed in the Images tab. PAX images are posted every 15 minutes and strips are posted after being reviewed. All notes are housed in the Documents tab. The Report view lists the notes in chronological order and offers a preview pane. You have a choice of where to place the viewing window. Single click to select a document for preview. Scroll bars are available in the preview pane. Double clicking will open a note in its own window. Close the window with its red X. The display view can be changed to facilitate finding specific types of documents. The summary view shows a calendar grid with the documents grouped by title. Double click a check mark to open the note. The Options panel contains filters and another way to change the display view. Options panels may be collapsed for convenience. The Patient Info tab holds a wealth of data on the patient and this visit. All the patient's allergies and intolerances are displayed. Inactive items are shown in italics by using the drop-down. Details about alerts are shown by double-clicking. Comments are viewed here. All care providers on the team are listed along with their roles and pager numbers. The problems list 
includes all current diagnoses and core measures, basically whatever the patient is being treated for during this visit. The patient's addresses, phone numbers, and contacts are listed here. Data about this visit and patient demographics can be seen on this screen. The financial area typically displays the insurance in play for this visit, while employment information is shown below. All visits with UK Healthcare, both inpatient and outpatient, are listed. Information about any implants the patient has is also found here. Different views of clinical data, such as IOs, IVs, vitals, microbiology labs, meds, DVTs, and more are summarized in individual tiles. All rows can be expanded and collapsed at once or individually with their own chevrons. More can be seen at once by expanding the display area. Click the drop-down arrow to access other views that have been customized for different purposes. The UK Snapshot tab is used to document daily care and assessments, as well as the plan of care for the patient. Information in these tiles is used for shift change and daily rounding reports. The Discharge tab consolidates the steps of the discharge process into one workflow. Information may be updated on the Discharge tab at any point during the patient's stay. A red indicator means the section is incomplete, while a green indicator lets you know the section is complete. The timeline displays cards containing selected information on inpatient, ED, oncology, and transplant visits. Only date, location, and provider are displayed for ambulatory visits. You control the date range in the viewer with the slider on the timeline bar. Display filters are set with the toolbar. If you use the same filters often, you can save the view as a favorite. Information displayed on the visit cards includes the date of the visit, the visit type, the care provider, health issues, and the visit location. Click on the card's green banner to view complete visit details in the visit record portal. Navigate within the portal by clicking on the section headers or use scroll bars. You can search for specific information here. Visit information can be printed by clicking on the menu button and selecting a printer. Close the portal with its red X. Clinics, including off-site and outreach areas, chart in AEHR. UConnect, formerly known as DB Motion, allows users in SCM to view patients' encounters, allergies, immunizations, medications, and documents that have been entered in AEHR. Choose the type of information displayed by selecting from the tabs. The plus signs will expand or collapse to show all items within that group. The number in parentheses indicates the number of items listed within that group. Single-clicking on a document displays it in the preview pane, while double-clicking opens it in its own window. It is very important that you do not suspend your session while on the Uconnect tab. The next person who signs on to SCM will be able to access that patient's record. Click on the Refresh button in the main toolbar if you see this message. If you see the message below, the patient has not been sent to Uconnect. Contact the service desk. Let's go back to our personal list. Personal and criteria-based lists can be customized, much like spreadsheets. The Select Visit List column icon allows you to personalize the patient information by selecting which columns are displayed. Note that columns cannot be changed on temporary lists or status boards. Click on your selection and click Add. Click OK. You can rearrange the columns as you like by clicking in the column headers and dragging them where you want. When you position the mouse pointer on the border between two column headers, you can resize the columns by double-clicking or dragging. Lists can also be sorted with a single click in a column header. For patient safety, remove all the patients from your personal list at the end of your shift. First, select all the patients on your list. Then, click the Remove Selected Visits icon. Your empty list will be ready to populate on your next shift. Remember, always log out properly using the Power Button icon. Never click the red X in the Windows title bar. This training has been brought to you by UK Healthcare IT Education. Thanks for watching. 
Our service desk is open 24-7. Call 323-8586 anytime.